Hey, they want to show their solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza tonight, and my other was a similar demonstration just a few days ago. Yes, Paul, there was a demonstration last Friday downtown that attracted hundreds of people and organizers of this event here today outside the, outside the Mount Royal Metro station say they want to continue with that momentum and they want to continue to build on that local solidarity. They're angry, they say, because there's nowhere safe in Gaza right now and that the Israeli bombings are targeting apartment blocks, factories, mosques and local shops, essentially devastating, they say infrastructure that's already weak and having uh, devastating consequences on innocent civilians. So they are here with pots and pans, musical instruments, uh, waving flags, making noise, they say, to send a message that they stand in solidarity with the people of Gaza. I had a chance earlier to speak to one of the protesters and get her reaction to Israel's agreement to this five-hour humanitarian pause uh, in the airstrikes to allow supplies into Gaza for the Palestinian people. Here's what she had to say. They're not allowed really getting out, so I don't know. They're really stuck in their misery right now. If there is any supplies going in, then that's, of course, that's actually great. Uh, we hope they actually get, can get any help from anywhere. But let's see after the five hour what's going to happen, because uh, what's the point of get it, giving supplies to, uh, to Gaza if uh, they're going to lose everything uh, five hours later, you know? And protesters here also say they're disappointed with the international response to this crisis. They say that the Canadian and Quebec governments are complicit in what they call war crimes against the people of Gaza. Paul? All right, thank you very much, Maya. Maya Johnson at the Mount Royal Metro tonight.